Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in this episode I would like to do some more upgrading of machines, especially I want to upgrade the metal former with some more speed upgrades. Let's get on with that but first I'm going to do a little tidy up because I've decided that what I'm doing with my ender chests is a bit not ideal. So let's do that first. I've got the RR pickaxe in my hand. By the way, if you right click an RR pickaxe, you can put down a torch, a Minecraft torch, which is actually rather useful uh, because they give a bit more light than normal. I didn't realize that. So, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take it and remove it from here. And I'm going to put the stuff directly into, and I'm going to remove this as well. What have we got in here? 46 moon turf. Shove that through there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to put another cable on here and put an ME interface into that. So let's do that first. And I also need a capacity upgrade. So I need an, an export bus, which I should have. That's fluid export. That's normal export. So I want one of those. One. And I would like a capacity card, which I think is this one here. Because what I want to do is I want to put moon rock and moon turf into that. So we also need some, there weren't any glass cables in there, were there? Have I got glass cables on me? I've got four, I've got 14, yes, plenty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this ender chest now, put it, uh, I'm going to put it here, for example, like this. And I'm going to put, import everything that's in here into the system. So we basically want to put that up there like that. Should be all I need to do. Actually, I don't need to do that. Let's just break that. Because all I need to do is put an ME import bus on the bottom of that. So we've got import buses. Yes, good. Just one of those. Somehow I need to get to the bottom of that. Let's put down a block. We need to if we'll do fine. I'll just jump on it. So I should be able to put... Oh, no, wrong way going the wrong way I need to go the other way I need to be able to put it on the bottom oh actually we should, should have no problem to do that like that so that means that everything in here should then be imported which it is great so all we now need to do is to come along here well, actually this was a an idea well this is really a tip from X Hedra gave me this tip. I should move the sieve nearer to the AE system. Well, I've done it the other way around. I've moved the AE system nearer to the sieve, which is about the same thing, I suppose. Right. So I'll put in, this time I want to put an export bus on this one. That should be an export bus, like that. And then we need to put a capacity card in there, because what I would like to do is to put moon turf and moon rock in there. And they should then start to be exported out from the system. Look. Maybe I need some speed upgrades in there. I'm not sure. Maybe there aren't any in the system yet until we've actually got this moon chest. I think it's actually importing moon rock. So let's have a look what we've got in here. Moon. Yes, yeah, importing moon rock at the moment. And I've got moon dirt. So we actually want a moon rock as well. And it doesn't really matter which order. Now we're getting moon, moon turf coming through as well. Actually, I can put the rest of this into there. So we've got some more. And then come along here and add this to the filter. Like that. And that'll be then be able to sieve stuff. And so look, should be getting stuff in now to sieve it. We are, but it's not coming in fast enough. So I think I'm going to put an acceleration card onto that first of all. So I don't need this block down here anymore. Let's do remove that and get an acceleration card. I might need an acceleration card for the input as well from that one. So Let's get two out of there. We should have two acceleration cards. One, oh, goal 19. I think one in each will be enough. We shall see. I'll shift to click it again, put some both in there. And let's do it the other way around. Here, yeah, and then put onto this one an acceleration card as well as the capacity card. And now it's it's certainly working as fast as it can, which is great. So that means we've simplified that process a lot. And everything that's coming in here is now going oh, wrong one. Let's have a look at the chest itself. Chest is empty. So now I need a way of putting 
carbon into that. Well, carbon's no big deal. We've got plenty of carbon. In fact, for that matter, can I put... Yes, I can. Good. I need to put them in rock somewhere else. I should have no carbon in there, but plenty of carbon here. A couple of stacks will do for starters. Well, let's put that into the MHS, which actually does open, which is also good. Like that was control shift click put them into that and then they should be disappearing out and starting to get more moon rock and moon dirt now the moon dirt I want to do that as well let's take that out of there I'm going to basically feed the moon dirt into the uh, into the smelter the magna crucible back here so that gets smelted unfortunately this one's already full so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove aluminium from here like that and I'm just going to put moon dirt on that like that and then that should start to get moon dirt in which it is producing oil and I reckon that also needs an acceleration card on it we've got two capacity cards but no acceleration card let's get an acceleration card in there as well I'm actually being quite tight with these acceleration cards because um, we can't really make these at the moment so let's put those two back into here now so I'll keep one and I'll put the other one away and I should get a broken ore so I actually will get broken ores coming from the mine when it starts to sieve rock anyway so that's no big deal so we'll get the aluminium broken ore I'm going to put this moon rock or the moon dirt into here like this so let's put as you see now it's, it's getting oil into here like that oh, it's actually starting to increase in rate good but we'll put an acceleration card in here anyway because now it's sticking at 64 which is good and everything's going through there and I think this is actually maxed out it is maxed out for speed and the one I want to max out today is this one so I need to make some of these overclocker upgrades so let's have a look how we make an overclocker upgrade oh by the way let's go and have a look while I'm here let's have a look outside I want to check my mob spawn it's absolutely useless I don't think I've seen a single mob in here except for the first one and I don't know why they're not spawning in there because it is pitch black it doesn't look pitch black but if we press that 4 you'll see it's all zero that's in there so it's, that's a whatever time of day that should be fine and it's coming towards evening so they should be spawning but they ain't so and cursed earth that's not a possibility and in here we've got oh I picked up one 68 Oh, we've got 74 in there haven't we so that's sort of working too quite nicely actually so that's something we don't have to do and that's about it there was actually another tip from etc Philippe and he says you should I could put these solar panels and I'm not sure I can actually take them I was going to check if I can actually pick these up oops I can pick them up good because I know that you can't pick up these base turrets if I right click this, if I right click those you can't pick them up and put that onto the um, onto the quarry and that's actually probably a good thing to do actually because it's not but I might need the power for the time being because I haven't connected everything up so I'll leave it like that for the time being and I will look at the quarry, the quarry should be working yes I think it's working, I could just see it over there so that's doing its business so now overclocker upgrades let's have a look at that oh of course I'd love to look in the right place I was also looking at how to make um, some cryothium dust as well so let's have a look overclocker upgrade is this one so we get one of those we got we did license the plate so we got that reward and here we can make this with one electric circuit two insulated coppers and 10k coolant cells now what I haven't yet built is a means of making these so these are basically the metal caster with a, a cast in it which is no big deal we've already got the, the metal caster and a piece of copper cable now the copper cable is just extruded copper ingots that's no big deal 
but the rubber there is. So let's have a look how we get this liquid rubber. So we take our rubber balls and we put them in the industrial crucible furnace and that should smelt them. And that is the only way we can get it by the look. So it doesn't matter whether we've got sticky resin or balls of glue or whatever. This one is a glue block from Tinker's Construct. It doesn't matter what we've got. We can't do it any other way. So we need an industrial crucible furnace. So let's have a look at that first of all. So we'll look for crucible. I should be able to find the industrial crucible furnace here like that. So that's fairly straightforward. It's a block of iron with one machine frame. Ah, maybe we have a machine frame actually. Let's have a look. Yes, we do. Fantastic. I knew I needed one at some stage and a block of iron like that. And we just put those two in the uh, assembly table. I don't need to do that, do I? So you actually can produce two things. An industrial crucible for a metal cast. So we've got the metal cast already, so let's produce this one. I'm not sure how much it needs in terms of power. No, it's fairly low, so it's going up fairly fast. Actually, while that's doing that, let's, let's get some more ender poles on the way. Let's put two stacks of that. Because ender poles take a while and we don't really... That, I'll select that one and deselect that one. So now we have our industrial crucible furnace. So next thing to do is to come along with this here and find a place to put this down. Now this does need power. So let's put it down on this one, for example, here like that. And as you can see, it's getting power or heat. I wonder, I think I should have redstone signal on. So when it's got a redstone signal, yes, because I reckon that's using power all the time to maintain the heat. A bit like the fermionic fabricator from Forestry. So let's make a, I haven't got one already, a lever. No, I haven't got any levers. I don't need that one anymore, let's get rid of that one. Let's make a couple of these. Always need levers for some reason. Not that eight will do fine. Take one. Oops. Take one and put the others away. In fact, we'll put the Minecraft torches up there because we don't need those either. So, if we put now a lever on on the front of this, we can then control it. I reckon. Yes, we can. Good. So we're not wasting power when it's not in use. So now we need our rubber balls. So let's go and find some rubber balls. In fact, for that matter, I'm going to decom decompose these two, uh, well, one of the bit stacks of cactus over here. And put the iron back. And get some copper out. That's copper. Uh, we will put that back and we will actually need a lot of this so I'm going to I'm going to extrude all of this which will give me three stacks rubber we've got five rubber balls the plant for that is actually working but I've, I think I've turned it off so now we all need to do is to put the rubber balls into here like that and then we need to extract this out of here well, it doesn't look too difficult, does it? Let's put the glass fiber cables down here and here, and then we can put a fluid ex import bus on that, and it'll import it out again. And then we need to come to the metal caster for doing that, which we want to put into here. Oh, that's okay. So we need a bucket of rubber. That's no big deal either. Let's just turn this on. Let's put that into there like that. And that's how much heat it needs to melt this, 460k Kelvin. And that's got plenty of lead. Let's take that out of there and carry on with that lead blocks as well. And you see this is now producing liquid rubber. So as it happens, we haven't got enough for a bucket. <laughs> we need quite a lot more rubber. Let's go and have a look downstairs. Oh, no, let's not go downstairs first. Let's do the first thing here. And that is to start to extrude these copper, in, cop, copper ingots here. So that will produce some 
cables. We're going to need a lot of circuits and a lot of plates. That's why it's worthwhile doing this. Yeah, plenty of bits and pieces in there. Um, so it's here. And the reason it's not producing anymore, actually that's got some cellulose in it. Cellulose in that. That's full of carbon, carbon and hydrogen. I know what the problem is. We're not taking any of this out. Well, that's no big deal. I've got a transfer node here. We can do that straight away, I think. We can use this transfer node in here like that. Hopefully it doesn't join up to anything. Yeah, it did. Of course it would do. So let's just remove this one. And it wanted to go which way? I don't want this one to work. So that prevents it going that way, doesn't it? So in here we should get some... That's happened here. We've got some rubber here, which is basically what's being pulled out, I think. Oh yes, and I did something else too. I did actually make the chemist journal and put a chemist journal in each of these machines. Not because of the recipe, but because items were coming into this slot. And the problem with that items coming into this slot basically meant that um, it wasn't taking them out of here, out of the out of the um, Contain that he wasn't taking them out, so it was basically with ending up with one stack in here and he wasn't using it, so they got blocked. So, by putting a chemist journal in there, it that prevented that problem. You can't just put anything in there, I don't think. You can't, for example, put that in there. So, the it's a really a bug, you see, you can't put anything in there, but if it gets fed in, it will get fed in. So, let's do it like that. Where's that come from? Ah, I wonder if this is... Yeah, that's the wrong way. Turn that the other way. That's it, yeah. So then that doesn't come in the top again, like this. So we're waiting for more of this butane. The butane will get to 16, and then it'll produce another one. And that should end up in this here. So all we need now to do is to put a chest or something in here in its place. Let's do that. Jump over the slot. Go to the elevator. Um, change the oxygen and get a chest. I like to keep a good st uh, supply of oxygen on me when possible, so because I, I do forget sometimes and run around without any oxygen for a while. So, what did I want? A chest or something like that? That'll do fine. And then that we should be able to take the items out of there. And get plenty of rubber. Now the rubber is very expensive. So let's put that down there. Like that. that should then join in. Oops, what happened there? Is this working correctly? It looks a bit strange actually. What have I done wrong here? Well, they're actually block blocking things coming in. That way, I don't think I need this connection. Oh yes, I don't need the connection going that way. So let's just right-click this, and we should be able to break those two, like that. So that pull actually looks like it's going the wrong way. I'll tell you what we'll do. No, I haven't got any with me. Well, let's go and get some. So that took everything out of there, which is not what I wanted it to do at all. It should have been putting stuff into here like that and with a bit of luck this poly nope it's still pushing stuff into that why probably because huh, because of this connection here so I need to prevent this connecting I want that to go into that side there so that should prevent that and if I, if I do the same on this it probably won't work Uh huh. I don't think I like the look of. Oh yes, that's working now. That's what I want. So items should go that way. I'll take these out again, and then put those back into here. So we're getting quite a lot of isopropene, which is, to be honest, to be expected. 
and in here all right so we now are getting this I think that will carry on but I could also give this a little bit more well, oxygen is fine we'll give it some more wood I think the wood should come into here like this to make some more cellulose the cellulose should come through here get decomposed to oxygen hydrogen and carbon it looks as though it is what I'm going to do is go and quickly whip upstairs and get some um, glowstone dust half a stack of that will do just fine and we'll put that into there make sure that things are actually flowing as I expect them to do so in each of these transfer nodes we will put in a glowstone like that don't need it in there. I do need it underneath here, so let's go underneath here. Hold on, hold on. It's only got one in there. That's having a look. What's going on here? So that looks as though that's. Actually, that might be getting blocked here. Might have got that the wrong way around, I think. I've forgotten which way the stripes go, to be honest with you. If I right click that. That doesn't look right, does it? It seems to be stopping here. Actually, why is that? Uh-huh. Oh, that looks better. So it's the stripes of the way I want. It's the one way. It's the one way in. Basically, it's the one way in. So we should be getting some more. Now, probably got some rubbish in here, of course. I oh, know I've got two. That's fine. So let's go and then go upstairs and put those in the right place. which is going to be in here well I can't do that yet I've got to go and get rid of this empty this out because that should oh the wrong way I've just put that in the where did that go I went into here didn't it yes that's got to be synthesized not but not there where they got to be synthesized into revolves it's probably the corner yeah there we go and that will then start to synthesize those and they will end up in here so I've got plenty of floats crystals now 34 so take those out and it's starting to work good Phew. So in the meantime let's just take out this water from here fortunately you've got to click the water out of here which is I don't know if anybody does know I would love to know if there's a way of doing feeding water into the system um, what have we got in here I need to have got compounds which go into here like that, methylene, cellulose, plenty of water and alanine. What's this one? Glycine. Okay, good. Let's go and put those into the system over here. Because if I if I basically feed them in they'll end up as that. So let's we put them into there. And the rest of them I'm just going to I don't know what I'm gonna do with them actually. Maybe I'll just hold on to them for a short while feed them through how much water we've we got in here 240 buckets that's quite good but I don't want to do this on this is I would like to automate this process but I'm not sure how you do it because these are items aren't they I wonder if you could use it in an import bus on those a fluid import bus let's try that that's a fluid export bus. I don't have a fluid import bus. I think there were a short, a fairly short supply of those anyway. I do I have one in here? No. That's a fluid import bus, but that one's sort of in use. 
Okay. Well, I'm stuck on that until I've got this things done. So now we should basically. I need to get on with this a bit more because I'm taking it to my time. How much rubber have we got now? 12, great. I can hear the lasers firing. In fact, what I haven't done yet is I haven't built this device here. Now, I think that's that galactic. Let's just see if we can find it. I think it is this one. There's no res oh yes, there is a recipe for that. A basic way for redstone and compressed tin iron. That's not possible for the time being. I don't think we can. I don't think we've got a compressor or an electric compressor. I think we've. Had, I think I'm a bit stuck on that one. But that would actually enable hearing, so you can then hear the sounds that go around in the system. But I'm pretty certain we can't do the compressors. Anyway, let's 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 go back to doing the um, overclocker. So now we've basically we should be able to produce some cables. Let's oh, actually I haven't done that yet, have I? And this one here is iron redstone, and the three cables will produce two circuits. So I'm hoping to be able to achieve that today. So we've got the um, the rubber now, and it should be. Let's put this into there like that, and that should give. Oh, didn't go in. Yeah, now it goes in. Let's turn it on. Oh, and I wanted a fluid. Oh, I want a fluid input, but don't I? I'll have to take this one. There's nothing else for it, but of course, I haven't built. I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to build a quartz um, tool. The quartz is actually fairly straightforward. Was that empty? I run out of power or something on this. Oh, that looks alright. Oh dear, I don't like the look of that very much. Oh. That's a bit strange. This thing can't be. Must have power. I think that comes from behind, doesn't it? Hmm. So you should check that before thinking about it. Let's just check that. Yes, it's got power there, and that's got no power in it. Is it because it's at night time? Ah, oh, it's night time. So the solar panels aren't working and I've used all the power up. Okay, uh, that'll be because of the... Um, that'll be because of the ender um, pearls we're making, I reckon. It's basically stopped it. That's... Uh, yes, that's better. So, now... Well, that's interesting. They're not going through yet, but I need a minute we can... Yes, that's fine. We can keep one of those. We don't need to keep it, of course. So, right. I wanted to do... What did I want to do? Um, bum, bum, bum. I need to make the overclocker. I need to make the... The rubber... Oh, yes, that's right. I need to make the rubber stuff. But... A quartz. I say quartz. So, quartz is fairly straightforward. We basically need to make some straightforward quartz, certis quartz crystals, which we can do from mine chem like that. And the aluminium phosphate is something we've made already. So I've already made some certis quartz crystals, I think. Let's have a look. Nope, I haven't made the certis quartz crystals. Let's quickly go and make some certis quartz crystals. Oh, and I did lose the book, by the way, which was a bit of a pain. That was just one of those in each of these, wasn't it? And we need five. One, two, three. Oops. Oh, they're probably being taken straight out. Ah, oh, they probably need quite a lot of power. That was funny. And as soon as those are done, I'll just get five. Is that running out of power? I reckon that's probably been... Oh, yeah, energy needed three million and got none. I've got three crystals now. Oh, I've got 
got four crystals. I need five. Wow, well, come on. Right, I've got five. Oh, that's a bit weird, wasn't it? Did that disappear somewhere? We've got to wait for the power to come back up again. As soon as the power goes, ah, oh, a bit of why is the power? Oh, let's turn off the let's turn off these ender pearls because they'll be draining all the power out of the system anyway. So let's just turn it off for the time being. You've probably got a few maids. Seven. Now that should get some power. There we go. Right now I can turn off the recipe because we'll have our fifth. That was hard work. I think I'm going to do it this way. I don't think there's a recipe for um let's have a look for a certis quartz wrench this is the one we can make but you can only make it with quartz crystals like that let's make one of those might be a waste but i think it's a useful tool to have in any case it's the only way i'm going to be able to pull this off here without breaking all of the cable and that takes in quite a lot of time to fix so let's put that onto here like that and then that should pull this out of here when I turn it on. Yep, yeah, it's gone. So now we've got enough. Hopefully we've got a bucket anyway. Let's go and have a look. Rubberized liquid, yes, one bucket. So we've got a bucket and a half. So now what I want to do is, I, I might have a problem here actually. But there is a recipe that's fixed, and this is a good usage of this recipe. So let's go and have a look at that. The one I want to do is all—it's quite a process to get this stuff going, isn't it? Is the um, brick from foundry? I can see it. A lot of recipes for bricks. This one here, refactory brick. So we can make some of this. I need some more clay. Let's do that. No problem. Have I got some buckets in here? Yeah, five. Let's take two of those. Put the other three back. Let's go and get some water into these two buckets. Select water. Like that. And then put the water down here. Basically, you've got, I've got dust in here already. So let's just put the water in there. We get the clay straight away. flown off to here you see I've got 30 dust in here so then we can put those buckets back into the system we should have enough now to make some refactory bricks and we simply need to decompose the clay good that gives me four that will give me eight clay and clay I think is just top left hand corner yeah that'll give me eight clay which is enough to make at least one factory brick. Let's have a look how many we make with this. Eight. Fantastic. So now we can make the bricks because all we need for that is just to smelt two of those. Like that. Put that up there. And then we can take this down here like this. And smelt these in the redstone furnace. I think that's where they go to. This hasn't been upgraded yet. I should upgrade this as well. Like that. So that we couldn't make before in um I think it was 0 0.8. I think it was okay in 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 it broke. So the uses of these so look up here. We can make casings and hoppers and things like that. But more importantly for us we can make this one. And I need was that glass pane? I didn't see it. Yes, a glass pane. So I haven't got any glass panes, but maybe we've got some glass in it. So look, yeah, we've got 62 glass. I'm going to not mess it. I'm not going to do this to my camera. I'm just going to do it the straightforward way, like that, because it doesn't make much difference, does it? So let's have a look. That one, right? So we can make two of these now, and what with these, we can then put those into here, for example, liquidized rubber. And it should be able to take these out like that. And then they're in these. We can then take these. 
containers and put them into the um, I think it's a caster I need to put these into here like that so I've got plenty of lead let's take the lead out of here now that's all for hardened wood and we need to make a we need some copper wire as well 63 now how do I do that cast I think I'm not sure if I do it in the machine itself let's have a look I need a blank cast let's clear that off let's have a look for the refactory this stuff here and the uses of that are oops let's do it this way this one so we press that we should be able to get a blank soft mold and I'm not sure I think it's just a straightforward cast actually I think you just put that and that gives me a wire mold not what I want so I need to put this with some rubber let me just see it was wire but I need to make that cast so what's the look for uses of this one so you can see you can make these block molds like that just you can make all sorts of molds look you can't use all of these but we can make them and I want the right that's not working very well so it's going to be a big search 260 I'm not going to search all 260 so let's have a look how I what the uses of these are shape crafting uh, okay so if I oh uh, good so if I get one rubber ball and one copper cable it will make the insulated copper mold which is the one I want in fact okay good we should be able to do that but I'm well over my time I'm going to do that hopefully we've got some in here 11 fantastic so it's working away nicely and I just want one rubber ball but I'm half debating whether I should put another synthesizer down there like that for for these anyway yep so we can then cast those together I think which way around was it ah fine I think it's shapeless so now we can take this come to the metal caster here we should have basically got rid of all of the um, I need to remove this import person don't I that's not so clever I think I'm going to have to do this the other way put that back onto here like that third import buses and then turn that on and that will drain out this so we've got this now free so we turn that off again and what we do here is we take we've got these in here like that we can put that into here like this and that fills it up with liquid rubber take this cast out we we'll put the cast over here and we can put this cast in here with some copper wire and that'll make cobble cables for us just like that so we need a few of those and we can then put the other one of these into here like oops get that out push this in do it manually here and we can those stack up nicely so there we've got our insulated copper cables which is enough how many are we going to get in here? Ah, oh, 17. Which is enough to make the next stage of this. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And give me a like. I don't normally say that, do I? Anyway, until next time, bye for now.